Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild once again. I was trying to think of what I wanted to do today, and with Africa coming up, I find myself wanting to play Call of the Wild more and more, but I don't really know what I want to do, because of course Africa is not out yet. So I thought we'd just go for kind of a chill hunt out here on Medved Taiga, see what we can get. This is our newest map at the moment, and I'm not doing the whole, like, bringing all the weapons that I don't have a diamond with. If we come across a diamond, I am going to go back and switch weapons to use something that I haven't yet used, but for the most part, I'm just interested in walking around and shooting some stuff. And the plan is, as we have a reindeer walking out here on the ice, to kind of hunt around this lake. I'll probably go up to the small lakes up through here, try to clear some hunting pressure, because down here, one of my favorite areas, kind of had some pressure in it that I would like to clear before I go hunting down there, so that's kind of the idea. And then from there, we'll just have to see how much time we have left. Oh, I didn't know I had wild boar at this lake. A level four, even. Not half bad. I kind of want them to go to a zone because I would like to get a wild boar zone here. So I'm going to keep an eye on them. They're far enough away, though, that I could actually shoot one of these reindeer wherever they went. And there he is a small level four, but that'll be a good way to check our consec because we do know the level four wild boar will be a gold if we can get him. That was just a slight bit laggy, but using the seven mil dropping him, I did bring like kind of my main guns load out today i got the seven mil the 243 the which pistol did i bring the 44 and i brought the 223 but hopefully our consec will be good so we don't have to actually worry about that and it is so let's go get that level four wild boar he honestly looks like he has pretty nice tusks i wouldn't be surprised if he's a higher level four but i think i'll use the 243 on him just because it's a little better i think than the 44 because of the range those are nice teeth I would think he's like 900-ish. I mean, I can't judge Wild Boar in this game, but he looks really good. And he is down, so hopefully we will get something nice out of him. I wouldn't think he'd be a level 4 diamond or anything, but he certainly did look like he had really nice teeth for a level 4. But again, I, I don't look very closely at that. Usually I just shoot them at range and don't worry about it. But I just kind of happened to notice with this one specifically. But like, really, those do look quite solid. And he's not huge, 857, but still a pretty nice pig. Got the brain shot there with the 243, and that's actually not a bad start. Oh, we have a bear hanging out back here, a level 4 female, but good way to clear hunting pressure. Let's just zero for 150 and see if we can get this in her spine. That's a yes. I think she was light brown, but she did almost look gray or melanistic back there. Oh, I think we sent some reindeer running. Is that what those are? Yeah and multiple bears level five and a level two i don't see any huge racks on the reindeer but yeah this is just a light brown and it looks like spine shot though and a right lung and a nice little hunting pressure clear and i guess if there are no males at least none that i can see i might as well drop one of these just to get rid of more pressure i choose you and yep got the double lung shot as well i really like i usually hunt this in the afternoon just because i generally hunt from the spot we're trying to clear pressure and i usually start down here and work my way up through here and get to this lake later on but apparently i should do it in the other uh like the other way around because this is actually way more animals than i usually see let alone the ones i'm actually getting but double lung shot and let's just move on that's a decent level four male he might just make gold i saw there's a is that a female yeah not too worried about that then i am surprised he's getting that close to me just prone on the ice usually they like to run away and i wonder if i clipped like a neck bone with him Ooh, that's a definite gold four i should not shoot that while he's running away we'll try to call him back in but the way he dropped like that okay guess it comes down to the range but yeah he is not a gold 773 silver but the one that ran away definitely was and he is already back he must have been trotting back to get to whatever zone he was at because there's no way he should have came in that close for the call or that fast rather but what the heck like they usually won't get that close without becoming alert when i'm laying out on the ice and they just don't care today but I think this is our second goal now. 820 on the total score. 602 trophy rating. Not looking half bad. And I noticed this yesterday with an, a reindeer with the same rack. Look how his antlers are not properly placed on his head. You can see where they're supposed to be. And his antlers then look too wide. 
I shot one exactly like this. I actually think it might have been up here. I don't remember where I shot it for sure, but it's a weird little thing. I've, apparently that needs to be fixed. But that does seem to be just about it for the lake up here. I generally don't get much going around this end. And the hunting pressure is pretty much gone. There's just a little bit left on that lake and we might be able to take care of that before we actually get to it so we'll jump down here and start looking for more bear and reindeer looks like we've got both we've got a level five bear level four another four level one musk deer that should be a four reindeer another level one musk deer there's a musk deer out there another bear level six that might be the one to shoot then probably the best chance of being a gold out of anything here because that's not a gold reindeer i don't think Pretty sure he's too small, but this little drinking zone right now is some kind of packed with animals. Like the lake, if you look on the map, it's so tiny, but animals love it. And you can see I only have the two zones there. I've spotted three different animals that are drinking, so I don't quite understand like how that works. What do I even have, actually? It's a, say, not coming up zone, a reindeer zone, and a lynx zone. So, like, I can't, I can't figure out how that works. Like, if I'm spotting other animals that are drinking where those zones are, maybe, maybe those zones are actually over at this lake. Weird things can happen with that, but I'm not seeing anything in this little kind of actually on the lake part. So, I guess I'm going to go for a shot on that brown bear and hopefully not mess it up because that angle's a little bit weird. That shall work. He is down and there was one bear that I didn't get to see. Maybe two even. Thought I heard, yeah. Nothing special though. And I'm going to keep level one hunting pressure here just because I might come back later for wherever that level four reindeer is. I want to get his track. If he's like 172-ish, he's got a chance of being a gold. But my guess is that he won't be. But yeah, if he is, I'll probably end up shooting him. So I don't want to shoot anything else here on the run because then I would get tier three to shoot that reindeer here. Actually, we can get his track on our way over. He is 171. 171.03, so he'll be like, what, 770 or something like that? I, We shot a 171 earlier uh, that was like, I think he was 772, so I will let him go. Just so maybe a bigger bear can spawn here and we can get that. And he was a gold in 834, light brown, 24.7 trophy rating. Got him in the spine at 192, so not too bad. I like never get bears over here. Ooh, that's actually a level 7. What's this one? That's a two. All right, I guess we'll shoot this. He's already 150 away. We'll use the seven mil again. Not a great angle, but I think that'll be fine. Or not, shot a little bit low, I believe. Hopefully he comes after us. Yeah, might be able to clutch a gold. Try to just hit him quick, just to try to get as much quick kill as possible. We're probably gonna be in the 80s range. Because he's a seven, maybe he'll still make a gold. That's the hope. What is that? Oh, wild boar. I don't get them down here either. Weird. It's kind of nice to have them on those other couple of lakes. As I said, I want a diamond boar, so maybe kind of grinding them will work. Jeez. Three bears up on that hill. Probably shoot that one because it's a spirit. All of them are not too interesting. So did we clutch a goal out of this? We did 80% on the quick kill. I actually called that right on the money without trying, but got the brain shot on the run and 833 gold. There's even yet another bear. He's a six. Uh, in that case, we should actually shoot him because he's got a chance of being a gold. So I will call and try to spin him around. <laughs> and because there is a bit of hunting pressure left over, I'm only going to shoot him. I'm not going to end up shooting that spirit bear up there. Just because I do not want tier three here. Obviously, as many animals are hanging out, I do not need to ruin that. So if you could kind of just actually... That should work. Bear down, and I think this might actually be his track. If it is, he is going to be, I believe, actually too small. 339 is a pretty small 6. I would like to, Oh, that's a level 2 musk deer. I was going to say I would like to spot that because I hadn't gotten to earlier, but we now know what that is. Maybe a gold. We'll have to see where the hunting pressure actually is, so... This guy just made gold 809 with a brain shot. Didn't actually think we'd make it at 339. I thought they had to be like closer to 350, but I'll take that. And we've got yet another new zone, a bear drinking zone, which I have just alerted. I guess I'll try to shoot it. I haven't really got to see what's around here, but... 
Oh, I think I missed the neck. Definitely missed the neck. I was really hoping that would charge as well. See if I can hit it then. I really have no breath. Hopefully that got into a lung. I'm going to zero for 150. I better hit it again because it doesn't look like it did. I think that was a spine shot and at least we don't have to worry about tracking it, but I would say anything that's here is gone. They'd have to be pretty far away to not hear or not spook from three shots. But while all the animals seem to be at zones right now, I'm actually going to jump to the other lake that I like down in this area. So we'll grab this and actually go ahead and fast travel. Female muskier. I don't care about. I'm surprised it actually stayed there with the absolute war we just had with this bear. I hit it in the jaw. And apparently this is where our luck runs out in terms of animals being absolutely everywhere. But I think we'll go over to the crater then. We can hunt around there and some of the lakes. I haven't been there in a few days, so... Never know what could have spawned. I think that might be a gold moose. He'll be very, very close. I really don't like shooting moose from that angle with the 7 mil, but if we get into the back end of the spine, I think we'll be okay. That is a yes, moose down, and hopefully a small gold moose down. I was looking, we actually had four golds in a row there without actually trying to. That was kind of decent. But the crater was actually completely dead. There was nothing hanging out down there. So I'm going to go around these lakes, just kind of around the crater and see what's hanging out there. Because usually if there's nothing in the crater, they're in one of the lakes around it. Because generally animals have like a sort of schedule they work on. And they just go from like maybe three to four need zones, just kind of going in a circle. So if they're not down there, they must be at like another zone. And the closest ones are usually at those lakes. So that is kind of my guess. Do we have a gold for this guy? We do not. He's 10 trophy rating away, actually. Not even that close, but got that perfect thoracic spine and lumbar spine shot. Wasn't really going for it, but we got it. That is not a bad looking, apparently level 4 moose, but I must have that drinking zone, but the problem is I can't really get a shot in with those cows standing there. The wind is kind of bad, so I don't necessarily want to call, because then... He'll end up kind of just noticing me rather quickly. If I just kind of scoot over here, I should be able to get a shot at him. Oh, and he knows that I'm here due to the wind. We're 0 for 75. If he just kind of stands there or just doesn't, that works too. Why was my gun so shaky? I think we dropped him, but that was weird. Like, it just felt really, really shaky. I think I had my breath because I wasn't... I was moving pretty slowly. But he did drop, so that's all that really matters. He looked like maybe 200-ish. He's got a really solid palmate for a 4. 205 even, wow, 919 gold. Definitely our best animal so far. Glad we managed to drop him, I didn't realize he was that big. Holy 615 to 620. What's his actual weight? 615.61. Six, six, That's going to be a huge moose. I might have blown him out of here. I was kind of running. I'm going to check this to serve edge and see if it's just now. Because I think that was a trotting track and there are some zones around here. So I probably did. And yeah, that's a just now. Oh, I think that was actually just him. That looked like a very large palmate. Can I like actually get up? Thank you. I'm pretty sure... He was just kind of sneaking back our way. And we just sent him running again. Is this a run track? Yep, he was literally right in front of us. Alright, so I did say I would go back and get a different weapon. But I am pretty much out of time on this. And we are pretty far from any lodge. Like, those two lodges are kind of close. But we'd have to go with the wind being terrible to actually come back. So I guess I'll use the 7 mil just because I'm out of time. I would like to use a weapon I've never got a diamond with, but because of the scenario and the fact that he's that big, I'm pretty happy to use the 7 mil. Oh. We do have something in front of us. I just heard it. I don't see any massive palmates moving around. But there's also a ton of tracks here from him, so it is almost like he tried to get back. Oh, that is him. He is right there. Alright, trying to make as little noise as possible. Look at that palmate. Holy, he's big. All right, not going to mess around with any spine shots. The spine glitch has been a thing recently. I can't seem to spot him. If I could, I would definitely take that heart, but there we go. Got him spotted. 
don't like the fact that he is a little bit kind of angled. I want him facing me directly if I'm going to go for this. Come on, just step out of the brush a little bit. I can't see where the bottom of his chest is. All right, stop. Just stop. Don't get too much closer. Can barely see where the bottom of his chest is. He's getting so close. <sighs> I was about to have a heart attack. He got so close. Hopefully we got that. I just... What the heck? He just kept coming. My heart is racing a million miles an hour. I just... What was that? <laughs> With him being alert like that. And then just walking right at me. I can't believe that. Consec is good. Is there, like, anywhere I can get a nice screenshot of him? Because he is some kind of big. Where even back here, I guess. I am just in shock right now. Like, what the heck? And he almost landed perfectly. Like, his palmate's through this tree. Otherwise, he would be really, really good. I'm going to get a quick screenshot, but I don't care too much about the screenshot. I want to see what he scores. This is... Almost a guarantee to be my biggest moose ever. So I'm going to do my little trick here. Where I can look up at the sky. This is probably the best way to do it. Put away my hunter mate. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we've got. 238 trophy rating. 987 moose at 10.8 meters. With that heart shot. That was the most. This is probably the most intense diamond I've ever had. That him walking right at me. And just, as I mentioned, I'm very out of time here, so I couldn't have him spook, and I just had to go for it, and look at the rack he's sporting. Oh my god. A simple just go hang out, shoot some stuff, turns into my biggest diamond moose ever. I think it's diamond number 33 for me, and just wow. So, guys, thank you for sticking around to the end. Those of you that really do stick around and watch all the videos to the end, you are doing more for me than you ever know. So thank you once again, and I will see you next time.